don't sacrifice yourself for other people and other things that should be coming after or secondary to your goals and your needs. So let me let me just preface this by saying that you need to make your goals and your ambitions a priority. You have to. If you don't, they all get put to the wayside for work or um, bills or other people or life events or whatever. And I get it, sometimes there are certain life events that are gonna come up and it's gonna be just too challenging to get certain things done. I was not doing myself justice. I was not, <coughs> excuse me, I was not putting out the content like I could. I have all these great ideas, wasn't finishing anything, and I'm just starting to get on a good trend with this. Um, I wasn't putting myself out there, and I wasn't sharing with people what I could. I wasn't, I wasn't doing everything I could, and yet I was expecting still that someone else would take me seriously and therefore something would happen. Over the last few years when I would express my goals and ambitions and different ideas that I had, people were like, oh, okay, yeah, that sounds, that sounds cool. And it's like there was this disconnect. They couldn't look at me. There was no excitement. There was no, there was very little support. It just felt very distant in general. And maybe that's just me, but it definitely felt distant. And I remember feeling like, why can't people take me seriously? Why is it that I have to hope that my resume is good enough or hope that someone sees the spark in me? How about I just show people what I can do and I just show people what I'm capable of? Oh my God, that means I have to take myself seriously first. Not even joking. So finally, what my goal ended up being, what my one thing ended up being was I take myself and my goals seriously by committing to two hours a day to myself. Now granted, this means that one of those hours is on my physical well-being, getting a good solid workout in, and the other hour is spent working on my personal career ambitions. So these two hours, these two hours that I'm dedicating to myself every day, which seems really difficult to some people I know, especially if you're a stay at home slash work from home parent like myself, it's difficult to, to dedicate two hours to yourself because you're thinking about all the dishes and the cleaning and the laundry and the kids and whatnot that has to get done around the house. Um, but it's really important that you set aside that time. You have to set aside that time. If you don't, you're not taking yourself and your, and your goals seriously. You're letting them fall by the wayside and you're letting them be secondary to everything else. And if you are letting them fall secondary to everything else in life, then everyone else will think it's okay to treat you that way and to treat your goals that way. You have to set the example. The way you respect yourself is the way others will respect you. So you have to, have to, have to prioritize yourself, your goals, your needs, and then act on it. Take yourself seriously for the love of all things holy in this world. Take yourself seriously. Take your goals seriously. Do something about them and commit a certain amount of time every day to that thing so that you can actually make progress on your goals. Because saying to yourself one day, or saying to yourself soon I'm gonna, or I'm working on it, or whatever, without actually having a plan and committing time to it every day, I mean legitimately scheduling and making time every day and every week to get this stuff done, it's never gonna happen. Take yourself seriously. Get it done, set aside time, prioritize yourself make your goals a priority and other people will support you ask for help if you need help there's resources out there ask family ask ask friends ask neighbors if you need to whatever it is there is a way if you absolutely set your mind to it there is a way and you can get it done i know that this is a huge rant 
But for me, this was one of the biggest things I had to overcome. I am such a recovering people pleaser that realizing that the problem and the difficulty why people weren't taking me seriously was my fault because I wasn't prioritizing myself. I was saying, no, no, that's okay. You seem tired. I will stay home. I will not go work. Or no, I'll, I'll, I'll just do this instead. Or no, I'll help you instead. Or no, it's okay. I, I wasn't really feeling like working out tonight anyway. I mean, I kind of have a little bit of a headache, so I'll just stay here. Thanks anyway for trying to, you know, watch my kids for me while I got some exercise. Don't do that. Do what you have to do. And I know it sucks because sometimes you really have just no energy to get it done, but you have to look at yourself and say, no, I have to get it done. I made a promise to myself. I'm going to get it done and do it. Please, please do it. Please. You deserve it. Be brilliant. Be bold. Be beautiful and always live empowered. I forgot my train of thought. I can't blame it on the kids. They're not here. I'm in a little two-seater.